So one thing you should know is that a lot of components I'm going to use will be reusable, you know. Reusable widget help you to make use of um, widget multiple times without having to write the same code over and over again. So in this video, you see this particular screen we're using for login. This login screen now we're going to design most of the reusable widget we're going to use. We're going to design reusable text form field. We're going to design reusable buttons. So make sure you understand and follow up because reusable widgets are so useful in Flutter and that mobile apps. Okay, everyone. Um, so welcome, and this is um the Android Studio IDE. We want to create a widget. We wanna create reusable widget. So this re reusable widget will help you um create widget that you can use on multiple screens without having to code it again. So you can use a widget ten times. You can use a widget twenty times. So we're gonna store this widget in a directory, and we're gonna call our reusable widget. Um, directory just gonna call it widget. So we are creating a directory and we're calling this directory widgets. This is where all our reusable widget will be stored. Our re reusable text form field, our re reusable buttons. We're gonna do re reusable containers. You know things that we can use without having to code them again. We can use them in different Dart classes. So that's what a reusable widget is. So now we're calling this directory widget. Inside the widgets directory, inside the widget directory, we're gonna create um we're gonna create a class and we're gonna call this class uh let's say you're gonna new. Then when you go to new you scroll down and you find a dot file. I'm gonna call this dot file my text when my text field. I'm gonna call this dot file my text field. So we have created a dot a dot file called my text field. Now this is a reusable widget we wanna make. We wanna make a reusable text field that we can use on multiple screens without having to code it again. We just create the widget once and we use it as many times as we want to. So um, we're also gonna create another class and we're gonna call it um, my button my button class so under my button class this is another reusable widget or reusable button you can use this button many times you can use it multiple times without having to code it again then in the screen directory we are going to create a directory i'm calling this directory um i'm going to create a, a dot a dot class or a dot file i'm going to call that file call it, call it, call it login the login screen so now we've created the re re reusable widget. We've, we have created the login screen, and in the text field, we're creating a class. We can create a class. We're gonna call it my text field. We're gonna call this class my text field. So my text field is gonna extend. It's gonna extend a stateful widget. It's gonna extend a stateful widget. So. You have to import the material um, class and then we're going to override. Remember, a stateful widget, we have to override the create state. We have to override the create state. I'm also going to create another class. And we're going to call this class um, my text field state. So, my text field state is going to extend a state, and as a state, you're going to pass in. Um, the, the text field, we're going to pass in my, my text field and we're going to override a build. Um, I think uh, you guys would know how to create a stateful widget, remember. So right there, we are going to return the my text field state. <coughs> so right there, we want to make a reusable widget, we have to create a constructor. This constructor will be taking parameters. It's gonna take in parameters that the stateful widget is the reusable widget is gonna use. So as a text field, we are gonna make use of um, a text editing controller. Also, we're gonna need the hint text, and we're also gonna need the label text. All these parameters we're passing it into the re reusable widget. We're passing it into the reusable widget. So we're going to pass in controller, the hint text, and the label text. 
so we declare a constructor and we through this constructor we uh, pass in the parameters so whenever you call the whenever you call the re reusable widget you have to pass in these parameters to it and the reusable widget will make use of the parameters you also need an icon called icon data we're calling it um, a prefix icon and we also need another icon data and we'll call it a suffix icon we need a boolean this boolean to check if uh, it's password or it's an email it's gonna check that and then return a true or false okay so right here you need to a final variable must be initialized in it's okay we need to initialize this in mean so we have the icon data we have the boolean there is password we now pass them to the constructor so we're creating a text field so this is how to create a reusable widget you have to declare a constructor this constructor will take in parameters that the reusable widget will use so we also need another boolean i'm calling this boolean um read only we also need the color this color is going to be for the border got the border color okay so now we pass them to the constructor we pass the read only and we pass the border color that is it for the constructor now so so we are going to work on the build we're going to make use of the parameters so in the build you're going to return a widget and this widget would be a container this container will have a child and this child will be a text form field so um, the build method contains a container the container would have a child this child will be the text form field <coughs> so this text form field will make use of the parameters you see up there kind of a decoration and we'll call this decoration um, input decoration so this will help us decorate the text form field so the input decoration you're going to pass in a um, we'll call the um what do you call any let me check you will see <coughs> we're gonna pass in a focus border and this focus border is gonna, it's gonna be equal to an outline input border outline input border okay so the outline input border you see there we're also going to have um the border okay i'm gonna put the comma and okay it's cool scroll down okay so the enabled border i see the enabled border here we're going to have um the out we have the outline input border so you actually inside the decoration of the text form field we have the focus border we have the enabled border and we also have the border so we're going to start with the focus border now we're going to give it a border side so this border side would give you on the border the color we're gonna give the width of the border so the border side the border will have a color and the width of the border would be 1 dp <coughs> i said dp i mean i'm supposed to just give it 1.0 you know sorry use dp so we're also going to do the same thing for the enabled border so we copy it and we paste it here i mean also do the same thing for the border too okay so we're gonna give um we're gonna give the enabled border a different color we're going to give it blue so say blue accent and also we're going to give the um, border black a black color so we're almost done with decorating the text form field light 154 So the other parameters we're going to use inside this decoration. The decoration we're gonna have the um, the hint text. We're going to use the dot operator here. Remember I told you and a, a shorthand representation for the if statement. So, um, the 
we're gonna use the dot operator it's another shorthand representation of the if statement so um, we, have, we have the hint text and um, apart from the hint text we are going to have the label text so still we are going to use the dot operator for the label text so if the if the label text is null or if null is equal to the label text we are going to return an empty string or we return the label text so that is it and the helper text we are still going to do the same thing for the helper text so we're going to copy this and we are pasting it here and also we're going to change this to helper text or help text so if null is equal to the help text then um, it returns an empty string if not it will return the help text you understand so that is it So we also have the um, the icon. We're going to look at the prefix icon. So the same thing. If null, that means null, meaning that you don't pass any parameter, you don't pass the prefix icon. But if it's equal to null, you know, if null is equal to the prefix icon, then it will return null, or else it will return the prefix icon. So we're going to use the icon. Then we pass in the prefix icon to this icon. Okay. So again, we're looking at the suffix icon. So if null is equal to the suffix icon, we're going to return null or we return icon, suffix icon. So we're changing this to suffix icon. All these things are parameters you would pass to the reusable widget. So take note of this okay so we have the hint text we have the label text we have the helper text we have the prefix icon and we have the suffix icon so we are almost done with making our reusable text field so we are done with the decoration now and now inside the text form field oh. okay inside the text form field we have to use some things here we have to use the obsecure text and we have to also use the controller so if null is equal to is password widget dot is password If null is equal to his password, then it will return true. It will return true. Or oh, it will return false, I mean, sorry. Then else it will return true. So we also need the read only. So we're going to say if null is equal to widget dot read only, return false, else return true. So we're changing this thing here to read only. So that is it. So we have the read only, we have the obsecure text. And now we need the controller, you understand? So the controller here, we're going to passing the widget.controller okay so that is it now so we have the controller the read only the obscure text and we are done with the decoration for the reusable text form field so this is how to create a re reusable widget now we are almost done with that and so in the next session in the next series of this video we're going to work on the reusable uh, button you understand so that is it 
so if null is equal to widget dot border color so right here we are trying to make use of the color parameter so if the color parameter border color is null we are going to return a, a default color we are going, so going to make it black or uh, if it's not null we make use of the border color parameter so this is how to create a reusable widget